What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie and today I want to do a quick video on a fast and simple alternative to the find command. So first off, I was searching through the Orch repository and I ran across a package um, that I hadn't seen before. Uh, and so I was doing a little research on it and saw that it's an alternative to the find command. And if you if you know what the find command is, basically so you can search and find uh, files and folders on your system uh, quickly. Well, anyway, uh, I saw this command, which is the FD or this program, which is called FD, which is basically uh, a simple and fast and user friendly alternative to the find command. And I just wanted to try it out. So uh, I clicked on their link, the link uh, to their GitHub page and open it up. And it's just give you a little information on it. It's the readme file. Uh, FD is a simple, fast, and user-friendly alternative to the find command. While it does not seek to mirror all the finds powerful functionality, it provides sensible, optionated uh, defaults for 80% of the use cases. Here are a few of the features. It basically says convenience syntax. It's basically FD and then pattern which is basically the string on what you're looking for. Uh, instead of when using the find command, you have to type dash I name and then put it in these quotation marks with the uh, uh, wild cords to try to find that, to try to find that, um, that term or, or string that you're looking for. Um, another feature is colorized terminal output. So as you you uh, get your output from the searches uh, it's colorized so that's that's pretty cool um based on what they're saying is faster uh so you guys can check out the benchmarking if you want to look at it um it says smart casing so uh the searching case insensitive by default it switches the case sensitive if the pattern contains an uppercase character so it'll automatically switch between the two if you type it in um, with an uppercase versus a lowercase so it also ignores hidden directories by default so anyway this is a quick demo it's similar to what I'm gonna be I'm what I'm gonna show you guys but they have that on their GitHub page you can check it out and basically all these all these links that go down here to the you know the benchmarking and then the color output uh, it shows you how to how to mess with it if you need to um, and then the installation which I'm gonna show you so let's get started. So the distribution I want to highlight today is Manjaro. It's basically, it basically has the XFCE that desktop installed on it. Uh, I think I used it on my last video, but um, I also wanted to show you guys on Ubuntu, but I don't have a Ubuntu 19.04. It's not in the official repositories yet, only for uh, 19.04. So if you, uh, want to install this program uh, on Ubuntu then I believe there's a PPA you can install and then uh, install it that way but currently it's not a, in the official repository so you and then also the naming is wrong as well once you get an install if you have 19.04 install when you install uh, FD uh, it's basically FD dash uh, find and when you install it, uh, it's basically FD find, and you have to create an alias in order to run the commands the way you'll see it in all the examples. So, so anyway, I just wanted to install it uh, on my Manjaro just to cut down on the confusion, uh, which is an orch based distribution. So let me make this thing a little bigger so you guys can see. Actually, let's go, boom, make it bigger. All right, now let's install it right fast. So basically the command to install it on org space distributions is sudo uh, pacman dash s um, and fd and press enter and it should install. No problem. There we go. 
Should only take a second. This is a very small app program. Okay, now that we got it installed, let me clear this out. And then let's go through a, a few examples on how to actually use it. So the first thing I want to show you is somewhat of the man page or the help. Uh, so let's go FD dash uh, H, press enter. And then let's kind of scroll back up. And that way you guys can see this will show you how to actually use it. Uh, so FD, then you got your flags or options, then the pattern and the path. So if you're looking for a path, you can throw that in there as well at the end. Uh, so these are the flags. These are the options. Um, there's a lot of options right here. And arguments. So, so let's clear this. So basically, since this is an empty, empty system, uh, I created a bunch of files in my document, documents directory that we can use to search. And right now, uh, where we're searching at is the home directory. So it's gonna pull up those files that I'm searching. So first thing I want, first way I want to run the command so you guys can see. I'm gonna just go FD, and then let's actually um, show the first ten results. So let's use head in there as well. So I'm piping FD into head. So let's press enter. All right, cool. So it shows some of the files that I. Well, it actually shows the first 10. So that's what head actually does. So that's that's how the find command works right there. So let's see. Um, let me ls this documents directory so I can see what kind of files I wanna uh, search. So as you can see, like I created a bunch of different files. I got uh, documents, I got JPEGs that I created. And what I did was use the touch command to create all these files. Um, I, and then basically got a file, or a doc or b doc uh, b file with numbers on them and then tests uh, for documents so so let's clear that out and I want to look for a files and let's hit clear all right and so the way we do that is F FD and then a I think file I can't remember if I did well, let me just search from right there a file okay and as you can see it brings up all those results it searches through the directory and bring up everything that has a f i l in it so that's the basic you know concept of it um and then we can you know let's say we want to find b file just to, just to run it and that's all the files for that so b f i l it'll search no problem so let's clear this up when let's clear this out one second now with one of the options you can search for just the extensions so that's why i created a couple different extensions in that directory so you guys can see that you can search by extension so let's say we want to look at all uh, the uh, jpeg files so let's go fd and then that option is dash e and let's say jpeg press enter and as you can see, it pulls all the JPEG files. And that's all the ones I, I have on there. And then just to show you again, show you a different way. Uh, I got some PNG files in there. So boom, that's the PNG files. So let's clear this out. Okay, so another way I wanna show you guys is by kind of linking uh, the options together. So we can go FD. Um, dash e let's say we want to look for um let's see uh document extensions and then we also want to still look for a string i want to look for all the files that have uh zero one in them and so that's our string and this is our extension and if we press on enter on that it'll bring just the files that have zero one in it and the extension of doc so that's just a way to string them together or not string them together, but uh, put the options together or run it all together. So last way I want to show you guys is by searching a specific directory. So the way you do that is simple. It's just FD, the string. So let's do a docs. I think that's what's in that directory and then we want to specify the directory so if we go documents 
which I have a directory underneath my documents directory uh, that we can search and press enter. And as you can see, it went down to that just that specific directory and pulled in those files versus if I hadn't specified that directory, it would have pulled up all the files because I mean, they're basically a copy of the ones that are in that documents directory in this directory that I created. So that just shows that you can specify the directory that you want to search in, search in in case you have files with the same names. But anyway, that's all I wanted to show you guys. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up uh, and comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, keep it techy.